Hi everyone, let me present to you today the story of two very, very successful students in the JE in South India. We have Pranavi here and Bhavna who cracked JE advanced with a grand, grand result today. So let's hear what they have to say about the exam, the strategies, the difficulties they faced and advise us. So uh, let me start with uh, Pranavi. Uh, how do you think your preparation all these years really helped you uh, crack the toughest examination uh, called JE Advanced? Error analysis actually helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. I at the start in the start in the start I used to feel somewhat uh, I used to have somewhat uh, conceptual errors also. Right. And day by day I uh, started uh, improving in them. Mm -hmm. started discussing with teachers and then can you just elaborate on what is error analysis uh, i used to work on how much time i used to take on each question and uh, is there any better way to solve this question which i solved in a particular method and mm -hmm. there could be any easier other easy method which which may be done by someone in uh, class so uh, which subject was uh, uh, kind of tough for you and how you managed or how the program really helped you to address that issue? At the start, I used to feel uh, physics was toughest but for me, but actually it's not toughest. Mm -hmm. I used to have some, uh, means I used to feel that I can do physics, but actually it's just a mental feeling mm. that I can't do that. But right. uh, once I came out of that, I really did physics well okay. and later I struggled a bit in maths. Mm -hmm. I improved in that by solving a lot of problems. And your so chemistry? Chemistry I do well from the start. I don't have a problem. I uh, try to remember them by I mean, uh, some using some tricks and right. most of the chemistry is logical. Okay. So there is no problem in doing that. Okay, so writing so many exams these, you know, last three, four years. So did it really help you? Yeah, it helped me a lot. I gained confidence by writing a lot of exams. It uh, helped me to improve my uh, time management also. Okay. Distributing time in how to distribute that time into three subjects. Okay. Based on papers and so personally, what uh, which is the best strategy, uh, you know, during the examination? In I your view, I feel that uh, we have to go by solving questions which we feel easy first, and okay. then uh, slightly tougher questions, and then questions which we think will take a lot of time. So that in each subject or across the paper? So how how did you? I used to do uh, for each subject like that. Means, okay. Uh, we can do it across the paper also, hmm. but it's... Uh, so you always followed uh, the same strategy of starting your favorite subject first or the subject that you thought you should do first and follow that method continuously or you improvised it as per the need or how I it went on? I actually improvised it as per the need Okay. So to improve my score like uh -huh. based on that. I tried different ways of writing exam hmm. and then I got... Uh, one as the best and so I started following the constant. Okay, so uh, this time, uh, you know, you wrote all the main four uh, mm -hmm. sessions in mains and then advanced. So the mains examination preparation uh, and then the advanced preparation, how did they go hand in hand and how your preparation in mains helped in advance. So the story about these two exams and how you managed. Uh, actually, um, from the start, I started preparing for advanced directly. Okay. Uh, for, because uh, JE means concepts are mostly from the advanced level, except that some there are some concepts that uh, we need to remember those. So, I st uh, from the start, I is, uh, concentrated on JE advanced only. And then... Uh, Around from two months from JE mains, I started reading those uh, things which we need to remember and 
So what were the highs and lows during the preparation for JEE? Like I remember there was a time you hated physics, did not mm -hmm. like, attempted it at the last in the exam yeah. and then after that you worked a lot actually during the lockdown time if I remember correctly and then you started doing good improving. So what motivated you for that? How did you achieve it? Uh, at the start I uh, had a problem in uh, self-confidence mm -hmm. and then uh, once uh, I started uh, doing uh, more problems and like that and mm -hmm. then once my s score started improving and I took it as motivation and uh, started really doing well. Not getting scared of the subject, Not fighting it, it strong. Subject. What about the theory reading part for JE preparation? Doing problem is more important or theories are more important? I think theory part is more important okay. because uh, once we understand the concept very well, mm -hmm. we can do any kind of problem we face. So like uh, suggestions for theory reading? Uh, I think Which books uh, did you generally refer? I think NCRT is really most important because mm -hmm. around 60% of questions we can manage by just completing NCRT perfectly. Yeah, reading the basic yeah. theory. Reading the basic theory is important. So, uh, how was the lockdown period for your preparation? Good, bad? You improved mm -hmm. in physics a lot. What about other mm -hmm. subjects? Uh, I started improving in max also in lockdown phase because uh, I started a lot of doing a lot of practice in maths. Mm -hmm. So, where did the journey start? When did you decide that you have to go for JE, JE preparation? Up to 10th, one third was there sir, that IIT we should crack, mm -hmm. not like IIT Bombay or something. Mm -hmm. In 12th, like I should go for IIT Bombay. So till 10th you were like, okay fine, I want to do engineering, go to some IIT. Mm -hmm. When you started preparing, then the motivation came doing better and better and then you started working for that. Okay, so how did the journey start? Like initially, what were the difficulties you're facing? What were your strengths in the start? How did it go? Max means I should not, I never made proper short notes, means notes and I used to just listen to classes and not writing the notes. notes. Was it a good thing or a bad thing? How did it end up? In phase two, I really faced problem means phase two is the revision to, phase. Um, unable to revise what I read before. Okay, so one thing that we should learn from Bhavna is you must take the notes properly or else you will not be able to revise. Okay, what else? I then wrote proper notes and short notes in phase 2 that helped a lot. So you started working sincerely in phase 2. Like initially the target was I should do engineering, now the target was I should get into a very good college, IIT top rank yes. in after the first round. So, how do we manage the confidence and motivation part? Uh, how was your confidence level down the line two years? Every time feeling very confident, ups and downs were there, what happened? In lockdown, low confidence created, so means maybe I did not work well, mm -hmm. that part came. Um, fear was also there in before means, mm -hmm. suddenly after lockdown, exams came. Not mentally prepared for it. Mm. Okay. So then how did you pull yourself up together back? After every exam, writing more mock test helped. Means Then I started analyzing every exam. Means Checking my time, accuracy, speed helped. After every means. means. And uh, uh, Bhavna, what is phase one, phase two? Can you just enlighten us? In phase one, we just go through every concept, means not much problems, like more concepts. Okay. In phase two, again, in phase one, every syllabus will be completed, means total syllabus will be completed. Okay. In phase two, more applications on what we read in phase one and more exams. Okay, so phase two is kind of a revision. Mm -hmm. You mean phase one, everything is done and phase two, it is revision time. So, uh, what is the duration of phase one and phase two? Phase one, more one year, one month. Right, okay. In phase two, six months. Are there any other phases or only phase one, phase two, the entire uh, 
program After design means they call phase 3 where we okay. prepare for j advanced okay so uh, how do you exactly how how did you prepare for in phase 3 the so called phase 3 in phase 3 they keep more mock tests means more on application we work means advanced in advanced more application part they are so they made us do more papers so that okay we can manage advanced paper also very well okay and then uh, how did your confidence raise in phase 3 what exactly you did uh, to see, see to it that you take the maximum advantage which made you uh, you know get a very uh, good rank from phase 2 we started doing error analysis with teachers also like going and discussing okay. every question in mm. phase 3 it became more intense like every question we discuss time also we discuss okay various methods also we'll discuss so phase 3 means mistakes analyzing made easy for advanced means okay and then any special strategy you followed to address your weak area or weak subject in max some part like calculus was mm-hmm. problematic for me okay means i wrote formula formulas formula sheet for uh, every topic in max again okay that helped me in mains and advanced also like in this topic i'll do in, by using these formulas then my, my max improved compared to phase 1 in phase 2 okay. and phase 3 okay in chemistry in organic those reactions were strict means i could not keep any trick for them like hmm. i can't remember properly also hmm so but in advanced they did not ask much reactions like hmm. basic reaction they asked so it is it did not bother me much in final exam and uh, how was your experience in tackling paper 1 and paper 2 is is there any specific strategy you followed hmm. uh what was your state of mind after writing many exams i thought of attempting like section wise like section 1 in all section 2 in all aha uh-huh. that i followed in both papers same strategy okay so did you test that in the mock exams uh, in phase 3 maximum exams i wrote like that sir means uh-huh. so it worked for you mm-hmm. okay so you advise that to others or is there any anything that they should keep in mind when they follow that yes. mm-hmm. i tried many strategies in phase 2 and phase 3 but only some s- suited my mindset right everyone will have different should prepare different strategy not okay. like someone said it should not fall means i used to feel problematic also like they used to perform but i used to not means mm-hmm. so how did you handle this uh, you know psychological uh, you know pressures you had uh, both internally maybe externally you are not scoring others are scoring so how did you get out of it and then my teachers i used to go and interact means Great. i used to ask what to Great. do hmm. then they used to say means hmm. my problem maybe before also some student may face correct so they used to help me a lot hmm. okay so uh, when did you start your preparation for je was it in class 8 9 10 11 so in when it all happened i started i joined narayana great okay and from 8 full IIT preparation was carried. Okay. Okay. So uh, by finishing the course till tenth class, so what was your, uh, you know, mindset? What were you expecting of you? I I felt I can clear IIT means mm. I don't know all these uh, Bombay those all mm. means mm. I just mm. know something IIT JEE is there. Mm. And from them I joined a college. Then I understood that. something great can be done means i can also clear hmm. je advanced from your total journey from class 6 to class 12 7 years what is that that you want to tell those who want to start this journey what is important what is not important what is that they should be watchful about careful about means don't compare like you don't see your percentage or result like think today i should do this and tomorrow i should do better than this hmm that will help like if you are writing exam and thinking i got nice that won't help i feel like improve day by day okay thank you bhavana pranavi so in your uh, journey uh, i think 4 years if i'm not wrong 
uh, you can correct me if i'm wrong so uh, what what uh, you learned you know both academically and then personally i learned that uh, we should not take uh, pressure by the studies like this uh, we should be really cool and uh, we should uh, try to learn the concepts but uh, we should not uh, see marks means how many marks we are getting like that we should just focus on learning new things and uh, not just uh, worry about the marks the real challenge for everyone uh, the covid lockdown so what happened exactly and you completely uh, you know utilized the time or you didn't use it properly what went wrong and what happened uh, in the lockdown uh, when i joined this college uh, at the starting i used to perform uh, somewhat really bad in the exams in the mm. weekend exams so uh, i was uh, starting to lose my confidence in myself and um, just before uh, the starting of lockdown i started becoming confident in myself okay so in lockdown i tried to utilize most of the time as much as i can uh, and really started improving in the tests and uh, i motivated myself by uh, seeing those uh, improvised results and started concentrating more on them okay great so any advice to the students who want to start this journey i think uh, they should be focusing on learning the concept hmm. because uh, if you learn the concept really well uh, they can manage any questions most of the questions so i think that and uh, they should not worry about the other students how are they performing and uh, they should uh, think like um, whether i'm doing well or not means whether i'm improving or not day by day mm-hmm. they should not worry about other oh that's um, nice piece of advice okay this is the success story of uh, these two uh, successful students in je advanced so there is a myth that girls really cannot crack the je advanced but here are the examples in front of us who really made it uh, uh, this far and uh, standing as examples for all of us uh, once again congratulations both of you